So to change your cursor in Windows 11, it's actually very simple. The first thing we need to do is go to our Windows icon and you want to click on the settings icon. From here, you want to click on Bluetooth and devices just in the left hand side menu. Then you want to scroll all the way down to where it says mouse and click on that. From here, you want to click on additional mouse properties. And here in the additional mouse properties window, you want to click on the pointers tab and then you want to click on this drop down menu under scheme and click on a Windows scheme that you want to use. So in this case, if we use the magnified scheme, all you need to do is click on apply and your Windows cursor will change to that scheme. Okay, so what if you want to install custom cursor packs from the internet? Well, the first thing we need to do is find ourselves a cursor pack. And in this example, we are going to be using the Windows 11 cursor concept and I will leave a link in the description. So once you've downloaded your custom cursors, you want to open the file and inside it should look something like this with all of the custom cursors. There should also be an install file. So you want to right click on that and click on install. And then you want to click on yes for administration settings. And then it should install the cursor pack to your Windows computer. So the installation process may automatically open your mouse properties window, but if it doesn't, you want to come back to the mouse properties. From here, you want to click on the pointers tab and then you want to click on the scheme drop down menu and you want to select the cursor package that you just downloaded. From here, you want to click on apply and it may ask you if you want to automatically replace your current theme and you want to click on yes. From here, your cursor package should automatically be applied and you want to click on OK. You can go ahead and start using your new mouse cursor profile. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.